Hey guys, this is Ayappa. In this video, we're gonna build a calendar in React. This is actually part one in a series of videos we'll be publishing in the next few days and weeks. And by the end of this video series, we'll have a production ready calendar that's gonna look amazing and is gonna perform even better. So if you're interested in content like this, please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get started. As you can see on the screen, we have a calendar that was built completely in React.js. So we have this grid where each cell in the grid corresponds to a day of the month. We also have these events, event one, event four and so on. But mostly I wanna bring your attention to the top right corner of the screen where you can see all these buttons called day, week, month. These buttons correspond to the different views of a calendar. So for example, right now we are in the month view, but we can go to the week view to see the different events for the entire week. We can go to the day view to see similarly the different events for the entire day. We can all, we also have these other views called time day view where we have time presented in a different form. We have time here and events here. We have the list view where we have simplified information. We also have these final two views called gone views like timeline day and timeline week. And if you go here, we have employees here and the events for the entire day. And finally, we have employees here and the different events for the entire week. So we also have these uh, previous and next buttons, so you can click them like let's say I go to the day view and you know go back, go forward, etc. You can also do the same thing in like a month view, you can go back to June, May, and so on. So we're gonna build all of this by uh, making use of an amazing library called uh, Full Calendar. So let's type that and go to their uh, page. So this is actually a really amazing uh, library. So if you go to their GitHub page, you can see that they have like 14K stars. So this is actually a pretty well man maintained and uh, you know popular library. So we are gonna use this to build our calendar. And I hope you are as excited as I am. The first thing we need is a new React app. I already have it here and running. So please go ahead and create a new React app with create React app. And after you're done with that, we're gonna go back to the full calendar page and we're gonna hit docs and we're gonna scroll down to find a component provided by full calendar for react.js so we're gonna click on this and inside we're gonna just copy this entire code and we're gonna put it in app.js so after this please make sure that you also install these two libraries using npm or, or yarn so after you're done with that we're gonna go back to the server and restart it and you can see that immediately we have a grid and we have this previous next and the date and so on but what we don't see are the events so let's add the events so there are a few ways you can add the events so again you go back to the docs and you go to events uh, here uh, here under event sources you can see that you can pass events as an array as a json feed as a function from google calendar and so on but what we're going to do is use an url i have it here so I'm just gonna copy this and paste it here. And you do this and you go back to the server and you can immediately see that we have a bunch of events. So this is a URL provided by full calendar. We can pass the start date and the end date and it'll give us back the events. So we have a bunch of dummy events. So the next step is to customize this header uh, toolbar. We, have, we want the previous and next to be on the left side. So we can do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm again gonna copy this. So here you can see that we can actually customize the toolbar. So I'm gonna just paste this and you can see that on the left we have previous next on the center we have title and on the right we have today, grid day and so on. So what if I enter a space in between today and grid day, grid day. So let's say, and you can see that it also inserts a space. So don't insert any spaces. And after you're done with that, we're gonna add the next view. That's basically the time grid view. So the way full calendar works is through plugins. Uh, you can see that here uh, we can pass plugins as an array. So we already have day grid plugin. So we're gonna go back to the page and we're gonna see what plugins does uh, full calendar um, provide. So you can see here, uh, they provide month view, time grid view, day grid view, and a bunch of uh, premium uh, plugins. We'll come back to this later. So the next thing we're gonna do is install another plugin called um, time grid view here you can see in the docs that there's a plugin called time grid view we're gonna click on that and uh, the first thing you're gonna need to do is to install this plugin so use uh, npm 
or yarn so I already have it so I'm just gonna copy this import statement and I'm gonna add it under day grid plugin so also I'm gonna add it in uh, the plugins array so that we have access to the new plugin so I'm just gonna put it here so if you go back to the server and you reload it you see that there's nothing here so right so we actually have to add it here so I'm gonna go back to the docs and I'm gonna see yeah it's called time grid uh, week so we also have day here so I'm just gonna uh, say day here and I'm just gonna copy time grid week now if you go back to the app you can see that it says day week here and again it says day week here so we go, we're gonna have to change this to something like time day or time week so full calendar provides us a way to customize the uh, a toolbar like we can add buttons and etc so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually add two custom buttons the way we do that is pass a prop called custom buttons it's uh, it's an object so here um, we're gonna the key will be the name of uh, our custom button so I'm just gonna say my uh, time um, day my time day button right so we can do that so <coughs> so we can do this and we can give the text of the button so I want it to say um, time day and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna add this click event so what happens when you click this button custom button right now I'm just gonna do alert like I'm gonna say clicked so now we have our own custom button so what you can do is you can go and add this custom button in right right so we will add it at the very end and you can immediately see that our custom button appears but you click this and it just says clicked but we don't want it to say click we just want it to go to the appropriate view so the way we do that is full calendar underneath this component exposes an API so we're gonna have to access that API and then call a bunch of methods in that so I want to use some um, I want to use create ref here so I'm gonna create a ref so what I'm gonna call it is uh, const calendar uh, ref and I'm gonna say create ref and I'm, I'm gonna pass this calendar ref to the full calendar so once we pass it to the full calendar we can go here and we can remove the alert and I'll just say um, const calendar equal to calendar ref dot current this will give us the current calendar and we're gonna just check if it exists and after that we actually have a, a method here so I can just say calendar API equal to calendar dot get API I think that's the correct method so in this uh, calendar API we can actually call um, a method called um, change view so let me go ahead and do this change view, and I can pass the view I want it to be changed to so I'm just gonna say um for uh, my time button I'm just gonna say time grid view. Right. so let's do that and now now if you go ahead and uh, click time day it actually changes our view so that's really cool so we actually need another button so I'm actually gonna call it um, my time uh, week button so no spaces in between so you're gonna save that and I, I'm gonna go ahead and create that button I'm just gonna copy and paste it here so I'm gonna name it time week button I'm gonna change the name of the button and then here I'm gonna change it to time grid day uh, week so now if you reload the app you when you click time day it gives us this view and you click time week it gives us this view that's really cool so we're gonna get rid of this day and week here so you can go ahead and uh, remove uh, these two guys here so now now if you do this we already have uh, like 70% of the app so we have day, we have week, we have month, we have time day 
and time v so let's say i wanted to add like a search bar in the header tool i don't want these buttons etc uh, the way i can achieve that is basically just remove all of this i mean i can comment out the entire uh, part and i can just say uh, give me one second yeah i'm gonna say header toolbar and i'm gonna pass false right if i do that <laughs> it's gonna remove the entire header toolbar now let's say i wanted to add something uh, in the header toolbar i can just go and add a div or whatever rocks your boat so uh, let me put this inside uh, div i'm gonna add another div and i'm gonna add an inbox uh, input component inside so i'm just gonna say um placeholder like foo yeah so now we click that we already have an input here <laughs> this is the way you customize uh, your header toolbar and let's say you wanted to add a button here you can just go ahead and add a button bunch of buttons here and you would use uh, uh, these um, api uh, methods to interact with those buttons that's basically how this works we'll do this in the next videos up those upcoming videos for now let's just stick to the basics now we're gonna add a uh, premium um, view or a plugin so we're gonna go into the docs again and we're gonna find uh, this timeline view so as you can see it requires premium but don't fret actually they offer a free trial if you go to the free trial this is actually free forever for uh, personal use so you cannot use it in commercial or uh, a production websites but you can use it uh, for, for personal use so i'm just gonna copy this um, license key and i'm gonna just paste it here under the ref so now uh, let's make sure the syntax is correct yeah so now we have <laughs> we can add premium plugins so if you go to um, docs again and you go to uh, uh, where is it ah, you go to the timeline view you can see that uh, you'll have to add these two plugins again so I've, I already have it so I'm just gonna do this I'm just gonna paste it under time grid plugin I'm just gonna add it to the array here and so now I have um, the timeline plugin this is actually what we use to implement the gone view so so here what we need is to again go to the header toolbar and we're gonna have to add uh, this this string in this right row so yeah let's do that resource timeline and i'm gonna say day again resource timeline day and i'm gonna say resource timeline week so now you go back to the app and you see that again we have day and week so we're gonna do the same thing that we did for the time grid view so I'm just gonna copy these two buttons and I'm just gonna copy them here and I'm just gonna rename them my timeline day and I'm gonna say my timeline week. Make sure to change the string here as well. So you're gonna have to pass some um, resource timeline day here. And finally resource timeline week here. So now you save this and you look at this it's again day week because you have to replace uh, what you have in the right prop so let's do that so i'm just gonna say i'm gonna replace this with my timeline day button and i'm gonna say my timeline week button so now i click this <laughs> now i have uh, this view but if you look at this there's nothing in resources there's nothing here so basically we have to add a a property called resources so we're gonna add this under events we're gonna say resources and again uh, full calendar provides us with a um, uh, resources URL so I'm just gonna copy this and I'm just gonna copy this and I'm just going to paste it here right so yeah so yeah you can see the events but um you go to this okay uh, what am i missing here it says timeline right so 
timeline week yeah so now you click on this we have the um, resources but we don't have the events yet that's because uh, the events object must be different if you go if you're gonna use some um, uh, the um, timeline view so I already have a URL for this so you can just copy this so basically I'm just gonna say events and I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna replace the previous events with this and now you save this uh, what am I what am I missing remove this now I click this now I go to timeline day you can see that I have events here and the next thing we're gonna do is to add our own events and resources instead of getting it from these URLs so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna try and get a get resources from this URL I'm just gonna copy this paste it in the browser and I'm gonna say yeah let's see what what it returns so it's gonna return auditoriums for us so I'm just gonna use this um, uh, required properties to create my own um, resources and I've added it under fixtures employees.json so this is how it looks it has ID it has title and we can also have optional fields like description and even color etc so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same for um, events see what this URL returns and from that we can infer uh, what kind of uh, data we need to pass to events so let's do this we're gonna paste this and it says resource ID right so we need a resource ID that is uh, associated with the ID in employees.json so this ID will be equal to resource ID so I've done that I've added a bunch of events so now if you go back um, to app.js what we're gonna do is we're gonna comment out uh, these URLs and we're gonna paste um, we actually need to import first so we're going to import we're going to say import um, resources from uh, a fixtures slash um, employees.json and we're going to do the same for events as well so we're going to do events here so now what we're going to do is we're going to pass this here so events equal to events resources equal to resources now we go back to the server reload it and yeah so as you can see um we are our uh, own um, resources and uh, yeah i made a mistake here so it should be events so now we go back there and you can see that our uh, events show up in this view so that's it guys we have a calendar here so we added a bunch of views today so we added events and resources so in the next video we're gonna add typescript and tailwind css so the ui looks really basic so we're gonna have to customize this and style this so in the upcoming videos we are gonna have to dynamically create these events add these events and uh, manipulate them and the same goes for resources as well so please like and subscribe thank you